out there in the interwebs, you have your tubes tuned to Kendall Peroni, and I'm going to jump right into it. <laughs> so, what are we doing today? Well, last time we were working with some Batania stuff, but I'm not going to do... Well, I'm going to do a little bit of Batania today, but mostly I'm going to work on... I'm doing some of that food I was thinking of doing. So, what am I, why am I looking at this stuff? Well, that's because... I'm looking for some, uh, thing. It's early. Don't judge me. I'm going to make some compact machines because I don't have a whole bunch of room for the, um, fast food place that I want to build. So I need to make the most of my space. And the best way to do that is with compact machines. What's compact machines? Well, allow me to make, I need eight of these. I'm going to need to grab some more glass. Uh, compact Machines lets you make basically little mini dimensions and from there you can move you can you know put a whole bunch of stuff in that and have all of the usefulness of whatever you put in your little mini dimension but um, it'll still only take up one block and I'm doing a terrible explanation of it but it'll make sense in a second, law of yours. Alright, so first we've got to make some of these atom enlarging modules, some of these atom shrinking modules. Five, six, seven, eight. Alright. So, and then we need to put it there, put that there, and I did not grab iron and gold. I knew I was forgetting something. Iron. Yeah, we've got just a little bit of iron, little viewers. How much gold do we have? Uh, we have only a little bit of gold. <laughs> I should probably see about um, sending some gold through my smelting stuff. Alright, do, 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 do. Ba bam. And. Hmm. Did I do it wrong? I thought for sure that was the recipe for it. Because I need to make these guys. World resizing interface. Yeah, iron, redstone, gold. Oh, I put them in the wrong. I put them in the wrong positions. There we go. And I have eight. And, oh look. <laughs> Zoom. Man, I love going fast. Gotta go fast. You gotta, loyal viewers. You gotta go fast. Not that way. This way. Alright. So, we've got some resizing thingies. They go around this diamond. Just like so. And that gives you the world resizing cube. And this is the center for your compact machine. So you got to have that one of those for each time you want to make a uh, compact machine. And then, if you want to actually get inside your compact machine, and you do, you need to make this, the personal shrinking device, which a lot of people refer to as the Game Boy. Alright, so, what size are we going to make for ours? Well, we've got a bunch of them. So we might as well make it out of nether stars. <laughs> yes, each, uh, there's a bunch of different sizes for it. You can start with, I think it's just wood. Yep, you can start with just wood, iron, gold, obsidian, diamonds, nether stars. And I believe the wood one is just a 3x3, three three. and then 5x5, five 7x3, five, 9x3, uh, cube, 11x3, cube. I believe this is a 13 cube. Alright, so let's make that guy. Uh, let's place him down for a second. 
because I want to hit him with this nether star. There we go. Now, why did I hit it with a nether star? Well, you saw how the uh, how it got the kind of white, the kind of gray border on it. That means that it will actually say whatever you use in it. What do I mean? Well, if you don't put that nether star on it, if I were to go inside, build some stuff, come out, and then break it, I would lose everything inside of it. So that's of course not good. But if you put the nether star on it, it will save everything that you had. <laughs> All right, let's go over here. <laughs> I've been doing stuff off camera, little viewers. My blood orb is completely full. We've got just over two million blood in our uh, in our thing. I have also. Let's see if I can get down here. I've added skeletons to our thing down here because it wasn't able to keep up. And I love watching them try to shoot at me because of the whirlwind on my armor. They can't hit me, so skeletons are no longer a threat, which is really nice. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> what else have I done? I did... I thought I did something else. No matter. Hey, I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of experimenting, figuring out some stuff. <laughs> Look at all that bone meal. I shouldn't just let the bone meal go to waste like that. Shouldn't let it go to waste like that, little viewers. Let's go ahead and put some stuff away before we uh, before we go play with the new toy that we have. I should have kept that. Um, now those can stay. That can stay. Get rid of the bone meal. <laughs> I always hit the wrong button to try to get out of the. Uh, there we go. All right. Put away some more bone meal. Put it away. And yeah, let's take those with me. Alright, so, boom, and then, yep, you just right click, awesome, <laughs> and boom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, I was right! <laughs> Alright, so you have the interface here, and those are where you can pipe out whatever you're doing, and you can pipe in whatever you're doing. So each of those uh, responds to a side on the block. And I'll just put my activator there, and I'll slap down two dispensers. And this is just for to test why I right click again to get out? I think I do. Let's see if I did that right. And now. And now. How about now? Hmm. Downloading terrain is hard. We. Yep, here we are. Alright. And. Hmm. Doesn't have the thingy on it. Well. Hmm. That was weird. It didn't keep the uh, nether star on it. And I guess you have to keep on putting nether stars on it if you want to keep on moving it around. So let that be a lesson to you, little viewers. Don't uh, don't move your compact machine around too much. It'll be obnoxious. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So what do I need to do? I need to grab some dirt because I need to fill in that hole and I need to, I think, get me some quartz. One, two... That's probably way more dirt than I'll actually need because I am tired of falling in this. Right there. 
So what am I going to do? Well, I think I'm going to... <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and make the... <laughs> yes, we're going to make at least the floor for our... Um, Man, I am not able to think today. I'm going to make the floor for our fast food. I'm going to call it McPam's because a lot of the food stuff, at least the food stuff that I'm going to be using, is from Pam's Harvest Craft. So I'm just going to call it McPam's. That one, I'll put one there and there and there and there. And. Like whoop that. There we go. That'll work. Alright, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cut out here, little viewers. And I'm going to I think <coughs> excuse me. I think I'm gonna try alternating um the bloodstone brick and quartz. So I will be back once I have that built, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And also, I think when we come back, I'll make uh, something in Botania. So, I'll be back in a second, little viewers. And I'm back, little viewers. <laughs> There's our floor. Doesn't that look like an old school kind of <laughs> fast food floor? Uh, I've discovered that the best way to do like a checkerboard type pattern it's not to go across and you know block, switch, block, switch, etc, etc no, you do and you start in the corner and you go block then you switch and you go two blocks then you switch and you go three blocks and you switch and you go four blocks and so on and so on it's a lot quicker than going back and forth um, sharp-eyed viewers will notice that I don't actually have a way to get down there at the moment. Well, that's true. It's also not really needed right now. Because um, I don't really need to get at my blood altar at this moment. But, I said I was going to do something with Batania, didn't I? Well, I'm going to be making the Rod of the Seas. One of my favorite Batania things. It's, um, it's really good. It's, it's really convenient. It's a bucket that doesn't run out, basically. Uh, you can't pick you can't pick water up with it, but you can put water down and well it's pretty it's easy enough to remove water source blocks anyway. So it takes a living wood twig, a water bottle, and a rune of water. To make the rune of water, you need three mana steels, and then you need a bone meal, a sugar cane, and a fishing rod. Now you may remember that I have my little fishery over here. And it is, of course, full, as it so often is. <laughs> Just gonna take some of this crap. Sa Man, I got a bunch of saddles out of this, too. I got a ton of them, little viewers. And... Is that all? Might as well take a water bottle. Oh, there's another fishing rod. And... That'll do for now. Alright, so I need a fully repaired fishing rod and yep I've got enough fishing rods here that I can just do that awesome and what am I going to do with the other things I'm going to just throw them in the pond over here because I don't need that one or the boots or the boots or the boots <laughs> I need to grab a sugar cane and a bone meal and some Man of Steel. That must be in my pocket. <laughs> Need to make another twig. Uh, bone meal. <laughs> and a sugar cane. There we go. Get rid of those. Might as well put all these saddles away. Do 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 do. And do. One, two, three. Alright, so I need that. Fishing rod. Bone meal. Sugar cane. 
and to my one of the forest. Alright, so we'll just run over here to our handy dandy little altar and we'll go that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that, and then there we go. And I, of course, almost forgot one of the main ingredients whenever you make a rune. You need to make sure that you have a living rock to throw on it. Hmm. And... It was working last time, wasn't it, low of yours? Do I need to... Bearing to, accepting from. Hmm. Why isn't that working? I don't get it, little viewers. It should be working just fine. But it doesn't want to. Fine. Come here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There it goes. I guess, I guess it has to be directly next to it. Can't be, you know, on a corner. I love how quickly it goes. Uh, yeah, I've actually got a pretty good uh, amount of mana right here. I mean, what's that? About a third of a pool? That's a pretty significant amount of mana. I mean, yeah, you saw how much mana. It <laughs> I had to use to make this rune, and I still got a bunch of mana in there, so throw that on top, and boom! Awesome. And then we go water bottle, stick, rune of water, right of the seas, huzzah, mana tablet, yep, this thing, if you remember the last time, we made our band of aura, Mm. And if you're going to be making some mana, well, you got to have something to store the mana in, so the mana tablet. And you run around and do whatever, and it slowly goes up. It it really slowly goes up. Um, it actually is going up at about the same rate as mm, these guys are going. And you can see down here the little blue that's on my... Mm, excuse me, a little bit of blue that's on my experience bar. That's my mana. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of water somewhere. Where am I going to put a little bit of water? Where am I going to put a little bit of water? I'll put a thing of water right there. <laughs> See how simple that is? You can't, uh, like I said, you can't just pick up. You can't pick up with it, but you can put down with it. And it's easy enough to just destroy so water source blocks. Alright, let's pick up these seeds and toss them into our ATM. Do 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 do. Alright, and you may notice that I have a new soul shard. What have I been hunting, little viewers? Well, I've been hunting pigmen because I am really low on gold. So a pigmen spawner that gives you nuggets. How many nuggets do I have? I picked up a pretty good amount of, uh, yeah, I picked up just a couple of gold nuggets <coughs> when I was hunting the pigmen. Uh, also, it's been a little while since I checked up over here. Pretty nice. Are we... Nope, we're not done yet. Okay. I was about to be like, are we finished? Did we actually finish it? Nope, we haven't yet finished yet. Yet, yet, yet. Grass. Smooth stone. Come back here, you. Go in. There. How much do I have? 1.3 million smooth stone. Very nice. I might soon actually set up, set up a uh, cobblestone generator. Because... One of the things that I might be doing with the food over here, I'm going to be making a lot more food than I will ever be eating. So what I might do is set up a culinary generator. And I would like to set up the Time 64 culinary generator. 
because that'll be <laughs> that will make so much energy little viewers so much uh, oh I've also been messing around with my various villagers <laughs> there's one with, this, with the troll face um, I made this thing the reusable safari net which you can use to pick up anything friendly and basically what I've been doing is if I don't really like whatever uh, the villagers trades are I'll just grab them with that and uh, toss them in the blood pit <laughs> yeah it's not nice but uh, it gets the job done <laughs> so let me see what is our time yep that'll just about do it for this episode little viewers next time what are we gonna do? I think next time we're going to start playing around with some uh... <laughs> we're gonna actually use our compact machine and we're going to see just how much food I can get making because the end thing that I want to make for my food is the delighted meal and that takes a lot of stuff it takes fries which are pretty simple potato salt bakeware that one's not difficult uh, the smoothie also pretty simple juicer pretty much any fruit and a snowball and I've got enough snow to make a snow golem so that'll be pretty simple but it's this deluxe cheeseburger that's gonna be difficult because I need to grow lettuce and tomatoes and I need to make cheese and I need to make toast <laughs> so it's quite a little rabbit hole but if I can get all the way down through it um, I will be having I will have way more food than I will ever be able to eat so I'll be able to use that food for a bunch of different stuff like what well, like I said, the culinary generator. A single deluxe meal will make almost 80,000 redstone flux. And what is our current flu uh, redstone generation? Like a tenth of that or something, I think. <laughs> um, I also need to get myself some more capacitors. I only have two. Uh, what else, what else, what else? There's also there's a couple other uh, fast food things that I might make just because just to be able to say that I can make them, uh, like soda. Got to be able to make uh, soda, little viewers. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this episode. Next time, I think we're gonna be playing around with some food. So I shall catch you on the flip side. Later's. <laughs>